Hi, Tony Vidania, and today it's a perfect day to talk about how to solarize your house in inclement weather, or rainy weather as most of us call it. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is solar panels. Okay. Question number one is, how many panels come with your system? You know, that's really a bad question because there are panels like these. These are 90 watt panels. And then there's panels like these. These are 245 watt panels. Okay, now there are starting to become more and more mobile systems out there, or as we like to call it, personal solar systems. Um, or emergency backup solar systems. Now, if they're coming with panels about this size, uh, this is 180 watts of solar panel, this size of panel, it's not enough to charge your batteries. Buyer beware. Caveat emptor. Okay. Now, what you really need to charge up 200 amp hours of battery, if you have a 12 volt system, and you have 200 amp hours of battery, you need a minimum of two of these panels. And that will not sufficiently charge up your system every day. So why would you have a system that doesn't charge your system every day? So really what you need are three panels like this. These are 245 watt panels. So three of these panels at 245 watts is 735 watts. And that's in good weather. Okay, but if you have inclement weather, rainy weather, you're in a rainy area, a cloudy area, then you really need to have four panels at 245 watts or a combination of panels that comes out to about that. Okay, so make sure whoever you're getting your panels from or your system from that they are being true to that because who needs a system that doesn't charge your batteries up every day? You don't need a system that charges your batteries up in a week. You need something that charges it up every day so that you're having a continuous charging system. And if you don't believe me, talk to the people that you're buying your batteries from and they will explain it to you better. In fact, a lot of uh, battery companies will void the warranty if they know that you do not have sufficient solar power powering your system. Will the ready-to-go power an entire house? The answer is yes, and I'm going to introduce you to Dee and Dina, who are using it to power their entire house. And they have four panels to power their system, and that's what you need. Dee and Dina bought the Freedom HO package, which comes with three 200 45 watt panels which allowed them to expand and they opted to get a fourth panel and this is what they power with it. Aloha everybody I'm here with Dee and Dina we're up here in Eden Rock uh, on the Big Island um, a lot of people ask can the ready to go run a whole house or what can the ready to go run here's a good example of a ready to go running an entire house. Okay, so D and Dina, um, as you can see, they're standing next to the refrigerator. The, re the ready to go is running that refrigerator, and it also will run uh, a, a, a larger refrigerator provided it's an Energy Star. If you want more information about that, um, just visit our website or ask us for more information. But D or Dina, um, what else did you want to have to say about the system? I'm amazed how well it does run everything. We um, run our TV, you know, from like 6 o'clock till 11, and the DVD player and everything, and we've never had any problems. We have uh, overhead lights, and it runs it just fine. We also have uh, a vacuum cleaner that we can charge and vacuum the floors with. The radio is usually on all day long. Uh, lights. As I say, you don't go out and get something that's got, you know, 150, 200 watts to it. You get your 
less wattage that still gives you a lot of light and you can you can see what you have but with the system the way it is and I never thought I would ever see where four panels would take care of this entire house charging our computers charging our cell phones uh, running the TVs lights refrigerator it runs 24 7 never had a problem with it and everything we're basically happy with it's wired 100 percent into 110 it goes through a circuit panel and breaker and when we do charge we in the winter time or when it, we have a lot of cloudy days we do have to run our generator but if you get a large enough one we've got a 6,000 watt and it only takes an hour and a half to charge the entire system back up to where it will run from 100 percent okay people so a good example of lighting uh, here's a good example you got a, a halogen light there which is running at a pretty high wattage and by contrast you have the LED that is running I'm, I'm sure at 7, a, watt. seven watts uh, and that the halogen is probably running at 50. 50 there you go and you really can't tell much of a difference Sa almost the same light so we encourage you to use LEDs. Okay, again, most importantly is that they are also not using, they've learned not to use anything with a heating element in it. That's just a killer for solar. And so we encourage anybody that has solar to cook, cook with gas, cook with propane or natural gas. Okay, as Dee said, uh, he's got this generator as a backup. And it's very important, let me stress, very important that no matter what system you have, whatever type of solar system you have, you have to have some sort of backup. It would be negligent not to have a backup system. And in this case, it's a generator. Um, if you, in other cases, you can use the grid. Um, but you should have some sort of backup. Uh, now, like D said, um, he's off-grid. I, I explained you need to have a backup power system. This is a 6,000 watt. You could probably get by with smaller. Uh, I would say the smallest you'd want to go is a 4,000 watt. And you can find 4,000 watt generators at pretty reasonable prices. Used, you could probably get them for $100. But you should always have some kind of backup generator. Now, D and Dina started out with our Freedom HO package expandable, which is allows them. They started out with three 245 watt panels, and allow them to expand. They expand it to one more. Now, of course, for other uses, I encourage you to check out our other videos on the applications for the ready to go, such as construction, uh, as a job site generator, uh, homesteading.